We work with a lot of communities that have existing master plans, and in some cases, those are really just documents on the shelf. And that's because they've been developed with a design in mind, but without a plan to fund what gets built, or without a plan to activate the spaces and the programs that have been put into place. And so we take a program-driven design approach. We start by interacting with the community and key stakeholders and decision makers, looking at both the public departments like Parks and Recreation, but also the private service providers, and understanding where those gaps are and how those gaps need to be filled. Ultimately, a study, a set of projections, and a communication of the benefits are the most important pieces of making sure that a master plan doesn't sit on the shelf, but instead becomes an activation plan within a community. Many communities have greater demand and more perceived needs than they can possibly meet in one round of funding or at one location. And so the most successful communities overcome that hurdle by looking holistically at everything that they need and then getting on the path to a refined set of plans that they can execute early on.